Hey guys, welcome to the shed. I just got done shooting an episode about a Stumac guitar vice, and I hope um, that when this hits, you'll be able to watch that if you have any interest in uh, making your shop, taking it to the next level. Um, there will be a link to that episode right here. But anyway, I didn't want to move the camera around and get all my scrapparatus in the background that you usually see. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, back to this. What's going on here is you are also going to see an episode called Band-Aid on Bob. Um, this guitar here um, was put together out of a guitar kit from Guitar Kit World. I'll give you a link below, and I'll give you a link below on uh, a number of things I'm going to tell you about here quickly, but we've got this set up in the vise where you can see it. Um, this is a pickup from a 1965 Silvertone guitar, um, K, Sears, call it whatever you will. Now there's also a piezo right underneath here. And I did an episode called Bob the Junk Pile Arch Top, and I'll give you a link right up there right about now. And you can watch the start to finish build of this whole guitar. Now, when this thing went out on the road, um, let's pull the camera back up so you can see everything that is this, yes. A um, couple things happened. First off, when I was building this car, guitar, I went to a couple different luthiers and showed them that I respect. And they all tapped the top. You know how luthiers tap the top of an arch top. They don't know each other, but they both said, hey, I would put the piezo right here. And they were within an inch of each other. So when it got out on the road with Bob, the feedback was terrible. So I'm going to move the piezo over to this area. But the sustain... And the sound of this, um, the silver tone, 1965 silver tone here, um, isn't what he likes. And in fact, we're going to put a bridge pickup on because it's brighter. And we're going to move the pickup down to here. But I was left kind of challenged. Okay, we're going to, we're going to cover this hole back up now because that's where the hole was for the pickup and the kit. And we've got the old Arizona Wheaties plate to do that with, and that'll blend nice there, see. Um, but it's like, what are we going to put here that's going to give Bob what he needs? Sustain, brighter tone, uh, and not so much feedback. So he had an idea. I went with the idea, and now I want to swing this guitar out of the way. Ooh, ah, look how easy that is. And I want to bring your camera down to the work area. And I want to show you what I ended up getting. Okay, I ordered a pickup from Curtis Novak. Now, I've heard about Curtis Novak classic pickups. You know what? What really struck me right away is... Yeah, there's chick flick teal all over the packaging. That means it's excellent. But Curtis Novak Classic Pickups Incorporated. I'm going to give you a link to this below. Um, and so I get this, and I thought, wow, that packaging is pretty spiffy. Um, anatomy of pickup, it, it shows. But I thought, okay, somebody went to a great deal of trouble to put this together, and then I open the box, because most of this stuff just comes in any kind of a box, but thanks for your support. Thanks for your support. Um, I don't know if you all know what I do for a day job, but I work for a city that um, is known for service, and, um, and I left that city, or I came to that city from a place like that one before, so my whole career has been working for top end organizations, but I open this up and, you know, this might not mean a lot to everybody, but there's a uh, Curtis Novak classic pickups button. I can put that on a shirt or something. The screws are there. The screws are there. I don't have to look for screws. I kind of told you in, in the episode about the 
uh, vice that I was looking for bolts and stuff. But here it is. Oh yeah, I got a nice got a nice stick or two. Curtis Novak. Chick flick teal in black. That is like the best. I'll give you a shot of that here in a minute. Anyway. Look at this. The first thing that impressed me, it says Curtis Novak. He dated it and told me what it is. Check that out. Now the screws just drop right into there. This thing's very thin. Maybe I should measure it for you. So, you know I like using millimeters um, because it's just easy. This is literally, the wire is going to add just a tad on. I'm going to drill a hole here and a couple starter holes in the top of the pickup or the guitar. But this thing is literally seven millimeters thick, seven millimeters thick. Before I spin the guitar around, the detail here is incredible. Um, it tells you Recycles Bach uses it for a gig earnings, drink tickets, Hot Wheel cars, poker chips, something else I don't want to know about, cables, phone numbers, who knows what. I mean, the guy thought of everything here, and this is the most impressive part. You know, I like to use QR codes on stuff. You just take your phone and and run that QR code, and it takes you to a video of wiring uh, tips. Incredible. I want to make sure that that box goes in Pharaoh's tomb or anything. It's that cool. But let's swing the guitar around here and, um, and take a look and... We'll just pull the camera up as we go. This is called Live Hollywood, people. But if you have the need for a pickup that's very low profile, this is it. Now, Curtis makes bezels that fit underneath these where you can jack the height up. I could use a couple slices of uh, Patron boxes and get this up like so. Um, anyway, I'm going to do an episode about this, but I wanted to spend a minute with you all and tell you that when I ordered this, the reputation of Curtis Novak is, well, just look it up. I don't need to fangirl over this dude, but the bottom line is I could be more impressed with the quality. I called him up and said, hey, you know what? Very impressive, but Everything about this product, I am thoroughly impressed, and I'm sure that it's going to sound great on this guitar. So let me close this episode out. We'll pull the camera up, and I'll, I'll jump back in because I know that you all just love that. Here, let me zoom back. Hey, Cameron. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Anyway, I'm going to shoot the episode where we make these modifications. Give me a like. Uh, give me a subscribe if you haven't and make sure that you get the link down below and check out Curtis Novak and no you cannot have this box I'll see you guys later